two, one, go. Here we are for qualification match number three. It gets underway with a slight barrage of Red Alliance autonomous scoring here. The Revolution spins their arm around twice, dropping off both the game piece that they preloaded as well as a cube they picked up very early there in that autonomous period. And it looks like that, plus their Alliance's mobility bonuses and the docked and engaged Re Revolution machine there will bring their Alliance score up to 42 coming out of the autonomous period to the Blue Alliance's 27. Now all six machines are in the control of those drivers. Waiting on the Blue Alliance to figure out what they quite want to do to start this autonomous, or excuse me, offensive driver control period off with. Looks like one cone falls to the floor, and actually so does the second one. Not sure, it looks like one of them is in a scoring node and the other one might not be. And that indeed it seems to be reflected on the scoreboard there. 72 to 34, your live score. Blue Alliance machine there of, what is that? that is Hotwire, making their way across the charging platform there for the Blue Alliance. Arm reaches out, five points of Alliance score there from that cone that they just scored. And they'll make their way back across the field, back to the loading zone to scoop up another one. On the Red Alliance side, we're looking at Xbot here right in front of me at the Red Alliance grid as they lift up a cone and it drops, looks like into a lower node there, two points of Alliance score. Revolution drops off a cone on the middle row for three right as Xbot takes a tumble on their way back down off the charging platform. We'll see if they're able to right themselves. We've seen them do it at least once earlier this season. Moment of inertia needs to work in their favor to get that one back in action. We'll see what can make happen here. 51 seconds left to play here in this qualification match. Blue Alliance starting to take advantage of the power play as they race their way down towards the loading zone there for Blue, although one of the robots leaves it almost immediately. That's going to leave Hotwire as your offensive Blue Alliance machine for now. They bring a cone all the way across the field. Arm reaches up. They see the top right node of that Alliance wall with an open spot for a cone, and they place it for five points. There's our in-game whistle, final 30 seconds of the match. Red Alliance doing some cleanup work here, trying to preserve their lead as best as they can. There's a middle row cube from that Red Alliance machine of the Cyborgs, getting things going for three points there. Their Alliance partners, the Revolution, come in as well. Gently able to drop off that cone, or excuse me, that cube. They're now trying to balance out the charging platform. Three seconds to do it. That's good. 20 points of endgame from them. Blue Alliance do so as well with To Be Determined and Hotwire up there for a total of 20 points of endgame score as well. All right, and after referee review, qualification match three results have been certified as a Red Alliance victory. 129 points red to 104 blue and four rank points for each of those Red Alliance teams to get their rank point averages started off. One rank point for each of the blue there. That's gonna come from the charge station bonuses. They got some points in autonomous and some points there in the end game. And that's all she wrote for qualification match number three. We'll be back with match four here just soon.